Item number, SCP-859. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-859 is stored in a locked container, which is stored in a secure containment chamber at site SCP-859 must not be removed from its container except with express permission from Level 4 personnel. And experimentation on SCP-859 must only be performed with Class D personnel. Description SCP-859 is a spherical mass of dark, unidentified material, approximately 11 centimeters in diameter, that appears to be covered in multiple layers of spider webbing. SCP-859 is soft to the touch and approximates the stickiness of spider webbing, although the strands observed on the object do not come off. When any living human places their hand on SCP-859, the subject immediately gains an acute arachnophobia, as well as severe allergic reactions to any kind of spider venom. See Addendum 859-1 for details. SCP-859 was discovered in data expunged, along with the swollen and decayed bodies of 37 individuals who had been data expunged. Investigation into the origin of SCP-859, as well as the exact nature of its effect, are inconclusive. Addendum 859-1 List of personnel exposed to SCP-859 Subject Agent M Date 2000 Exposure method Accidental During containment of SCP-859 Subject immediately screamed and dropped SCP-859 after touching it with his bare hand. When questioned afterwards, reported that he saw hundreds of venomous spiders crawling out of SCP-859 and onto his hand. No spiders were observed in the area, and acute arachnophobia was observed in subject. Result. Subject was found dead in his apartment on 2000, having died from a bite from a common house spider. Subject had no history of being allergic to spider venom, according to medical profile from Foundation Records. Subject D-47121 Male African American 31 years old No known medical allergies Date 2000 Exposure method Instructed to place a hand on SCP-859 Displays shock and revulsion to SCP-859 after contact Similar to initial case Acute arachnophobia observed in subject. Result. After showing violent resistance and extreme terror when attempting to expose subject to an agitated huntsman spider, subject is restrained and spider placed on subject. Subject bitten and immediately exhibits symptoms of extreme anaphylactic shock. Subject dies within one minute of exposure and attempts at resuscitation result in failure. Note: Huntsman spiders have particularly mild venom, rarely resulting in little more than mild pain. Subject: D47565, female Caucasian, 27 years old, no known medical allergies. Date: 2000 Exposure method: Instructed to place hand on SCP-859. Subject exhibited significant resistance prior to instructions. Similar initial symptoms to previous subjects. Result. Subject restrained and exposed to agitated huntsman spider. Emergency medical treatment administered immediately after subject is bitten, including epinephrine. Medical treatment has no effect. Subject dies within one minute of exposure. Subject. D-47901, male Asian, 29 years old, no known medical allergies, date, 2000, exposure method, instructed to place hand on SCP-859, subject exhibits regular initial symptoms, after which subject is placed in secure isolation chamber, with measures to prevent any insects from breaching isolation, result, 
Subject exhibits increasing levels of paranoid arachnophobia, peaking after five days in isolation. After which, subject is observed semi-catatonic, curled into a fetal position in the corner of the chamber, and constantly babbling and muttering about spiders on the walls. And they're coming to get me. Subject found dead of severe allergic reaction to spider venom after seven days. Over spider bites were found on the subject, despite having found no spiders within the isolation chamber and preventative measures still being intact. Review of security footage showed data expunged. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-858, Gravity's Rainbow, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.